Greetings, friends. Yesterday, just as I had finished recording this program and was actually putting it on the podcast platform for you to hear it in this Monday afternoon, we got news of the shooting in Nashville. And in terms of how I live and how I pray, everything came to a stop and we put an end to uh, any comment, commentary, or anything else. I believe that after such event, we should grieve, and we should pray, and we should shut up. (laughs) And I encourage everybody, don't comment or say anything except words of prayer and words of consolation and encouragement if we can. And no partisanship, none of the blaming, none of the name-calling, none of the stuff that usually happens. In fact, there should be no comments for 72 hours. After that, Perhaps we will have a better understanding of just what happened. And then, and then only, should we make some helpful commentary and comments. So, that's what I said, and we went off the air. However, the program begins. I think it's a good program, helpful for these times. And so, what was scheduled for yesterday now goes today. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's Monday evening, and thank you for being with me. And I hope uh, that, you know, Monday meets the marketplace uh, oftentimes uh, is a little bit challenging. And uh, here I am a little bit uh, in the early to later afternoon with today's program, and I had a bit of a challenge. That's right, a bit of a challenge. A number of things hit me on Monday morning, and it's the kind of thing where I just kind of say, okay, God... (laughs) Uh, help me get this fixed and get it right. Help me get this fixed and get it right. And uh, finally things came together. So uh, I lost a couple hours of uh, good work time, but uh, hopefully uh, I'll make up for it with some uh, <laughs> increased efficiency and careful uh, planning and uh, because I work hard. But it uh, was a, uh, a Monday that began with difficulty. Now, it seemingly is getting better, and of course, one of the reasons it's getting better is now I get to do what I really love to do, is perhaps talk to you, and hopefully hear from you, on a program called Interesting Ideas. And, as you may know, if you're following some of my last broadcasts last week, we're on that subject. Interesting ideas so that you can have greater insight, influence, impact, and income. And so I'm going to continue that uh, discussion, conversation. Hopefully you'll respond uh, in such a way (laughs) that you can. And uh, you can always just talk back to me. You know, that's just good for your mind, spirit, and soul sometimes if you don't agree. And uh, let's see if we can be a little bit more impactful going forward in these challenging times. The program is Interesting Ideas, brought to you by What It Takes Radio, a a premier uh, podcast and publishing company helping you to reach your audience. Thank you for being part of mine, and the program begins right now. Okay, just a quick update about the state of the world in some respects. And uh, they're still waiting to find out whether the uh, grand jury is going to indict former American President Donald Trump. And uh, who knows? And there's a part of me that would say now, and who really cares? Whose life will be better if they do? And... Uh, whose life will be worse off if they don't. Does it matter? You see, D-I-M. Most things in life are dim. Does it 
matter. And uh, I'm in the business of doing something like that. I'm trying to help people do what matters. D-W-M. Something that matters to them and something that will make a difference. Something that will make an impact. Something that will change things for the better. Something that may actually, uh, you know, help you have a better world and maybe help you uh, make a better world for other people. Do what matters. You know, bold moves work. BMW, not the car, you. Bold moves work and uh, do what matters. D W M. Hey, what I went through, and I went through this as kind of a, a coaching exercise. Now, I've done performance coaching for business people and entrepreneurs for over 20, 25 years. It's one of the one of the many careers I've had and been quite successful at. But um, in doing so, I've often tried to help people, you know, up their game, take it to the next level, you know, all of that stuff. And I could say all that stuff, though I've gotten tired of saying all that stuff. What I'm simply about now is helping people to uh, do what matters to them and uh, what matters for the world, and how to be better at it and how to be more effective at it and uh, help them to have, like I have, a platform, a worldwide platform to see if that would be helpful in helping them do what matters and helping you do what matters. Now, we've gone through insight and ways to be able to uh, be able to say, this is true, T-I-T. That ain't true, T-A-T. And be able to share wisdom, insight, and truth. Be able to have a, a better understanding. One of the prayers I oftentimes teach people is the one word prayer. Issachar, Issachar. Look the word up, ask me about it, and it simply says, help me to better understand the times and know what to do. Better, help me, help me better understand the times, figure out the mess I'm in, or figure out the opportunity I have, and know what to do. That's what we try and help people do. Now, if you do, you will have greater insight. And then we talked about having influence. And there are ways to do that. And I'm going to encourage you, we are writing an update of the book by Dale Carnegie, over 80 years old. So uh, it's still a bestseller. Talk about influence and impact. Um, Dale Carnegie has been dead for many years. His family is still living in many ways, off of the legacy he provided. And many of us are benefiting from the legacy he provided in his teaching and in his tutoring and in his writing, how to win friends and influence people. And we're trying to update that by saying the way you do that is to make friends <laughs> or to win friends, make friends, by being a friend, and how can you better be a friend to make more friends? Because the more friends you have, the better off you will be, and the more influence you will have, but you gain influence by serving your audience. That's how you gain influence. You have an audience. People know that you're there. <laughs> they may even follow you. They certainly are watching you or aware of you or have heard of you and you serve them well. And if you serve them well, it will go better for you. In fact, it might even go well for you and then you have more influence. Now, impact. Well, if you have wisdom and insight, do you have uh, influence? then you might have an impact. And let me just ask you 
to think about these um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Love seven. Seven ways that you might have an impact. First of all, here we go now. I know it's late on Monday afternoon, but if you have a chance now, listen to this again or record these seven words. All right? Here we go. Stories. The future belongs to the storyteller. The only effective means of communication is telling stories. I begin every presentation, if I have a public presentation, with perhaps nothing more than a simple thank you. And then I say, hey, let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. Number two, questions. Learn how to ask good questions. Now, one of my uh, longtime colleagues, friends, a guy named Bob Tidi, and I would ask you to check him out because he's made a whole uh, way of teaching and telling and making a living teaching people how to ask good questions. Questions. Number three observation. Be what uh, Peter Drucker said he was really good at. He was a bystander, an onlooker. He was good at observing things, noticing things. Oftentimes in my coaching, I would say, just notice. Be a good observer. Then if you have made some good observations, be prepared to make a suggestion. With your permission, may I offer a suggestion? Uh, With your permission, may I do that? And you simply have suggestions. Now, if you have a little stronger intensity and perhaps a little more knowledge and emphasis is needed, You say, may I make a recommendation? Now, do you see that a suggestion is just that? (laughs) It's a suggestion. Now, a little bit stronger is a recommendation. Now, you've got the point where you actually are going to double dare them. And I do this quite often when I find somebody is very, very much in the mood, at least they have indicated by their body language, their emotional engagement, their attention, and it's seemingly they have a desire to do something. I say, may I challenge you? May I challenge you? And then I wait for them to answer. I say, I don't think I want to challenge you. Fine, I'm done. Then I issue the challenge. And then I say, will you accept that challenge? And if they say yes, then I say, how can I help you meet that challenge? How can I help you? Not, what are you going to do? We could do that, but first I'll just simply say, how could I help you meet that challenge? And from time to time, you will be able to have this kind of an encounter. I had this happen one time. It was a, a man who I'd helped uh, win a major position in, the, uh, in his organization because he, he said, Stan, I'm really, really good. He was in the insurance business. He was very good. He was a, he had a very good living. But he decided that he wanted to be uh, the national leader, and many of his friends had said that he should be one of the national leaders of uh, the organization. And so uh, he had heard about me from a presentation I had made just after I had returned from my work as a volunteer mission and broadcaster in Europe. And um, he talked to me and he hired me to be his coach. And what he wanted me was to help him, uh, you know, 
with his young staff that was going and growing, and he was going to be gone a lot if he ever won this position. He wanted me to help him win that position and then be able to help his young staff carry on in his absence and at the same time to kind of be a guide for him. He called me after he had won the election, and it was a real celebration, and we all celebrated that, and it was wonderful. Yeah, he won. About a week later, he called me and said, Stan, I just found out that, um, guess what? I now have to write a magazine article for the monthly magazine every month. (laughs) And he said, what am I going to do? And I said, well, I'll challenge you. I'll challenge you. Do it. Write the article. Write the article. Don't ghost it. Write the article. And then he uh, paused and said, okay, but only if you will give me direction. You tell me how to do it. If you tell me how to do it, and I know you can do it, if you'll teach me and tell me how to do it, I will do it. And we have an intention. When you have an intention, take action. Intention, action. Intention, action. So there we go again, 15 minutes on a Monday evening. A way to have impact. Tell lots of good stories. Be aware of the ability to ask questions. Have the gift of observation. From time to time, make a good suggestion. Ask for permission to make a recommendation. Be bold and brave to challenge people to perform and do and take new risks for their best. And uh, occasionally, just be willing to use the God-given wisdom and expertise that you have to give good direction to others. Well, that's the program for a Monday evening. Uh, I trust that it has been helpful to you. I'm Stan Houston. This has been Interesting Ideas for a Monday evening. We have a lot of projects. First of all, like I said, I'm going to be asking you to be involved in thinking about what he called the Encore Experience. We're very much involved in something that some of you would find very helpful called the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience. If you would truly like to have your own radio program like this, we can help you do that. Oh how to be a world-class podcaster. You want a, you want impact, be a world-class podcaster. We have a program on how to pray, because without prayer, nothing happens. And I'll tell you about that someday, if you care. And uh, there are other things in terms of learning how to be a business performance coach that uh, we can help you with. And if none of those things fit, um, just say, Stan, can you help me? And there's a good chance that I can, a little bit. And what I can't do, I can probably find somebody or I know somebody who can help you. That's the classic question. One of the most powerful questions in the world. How can I help you? All the best and blessings to you. Ask for interesting ideas so that you can have greater insight, influence, impact, and the best and possible true success income. Till we get all of that done, till next time, bye for now.